All right, so everybody keeps asking me about my curly hairstyle. I switched up about a year ago where I used to straighten my hair chemically and then I was like, you know what? This is a lot of work. I was tired of doing all the work in the morning blow drying. So I was like, you know what? Let me just let my natural curls do its course. And well, that's this. These are my natural curls. So if you have naturally curly or wavy or coarse hair, this video might be for you. So one of the biggest reasons why I haven't done this video is because it's just really simple. It's such a simple routine, which is why I like it because it gets me ready in the mornings quicker. So the first step, which is important for a good hairstyle is the cut. This is the base of it, see? So starting with my haircut, this is what's important. Every two weeks, I get a nice fade, which is a mid skin fade. The top, I leave at a short to medium length, but the sides, I like to keep them tight. I've talked about this before. If you have naturally coarse or curly hair, what happens to the sides is that they start pooping out and they're very unmanageable. So if you have curly hair and you want to go for the curly hairstyle, I suggest you keep your sides tight. So this is my barber. He's hooking it up right now. The guy is a beast. As you can see, the dude's, the dude's a master with the clippers. The fade is coming out crispy. My guy is out here cutting celebrities. So you know this guy is good. If you're in the New York area, I suggest you guys check him out. But as you see here, I'm doing that mid skin fade. After this is done, we're going into styling. Before we get to the styling though, the second part that's crucial is the health of the hair. So you maintaining your hair. And this will include your oils, your shampoo, and your conditioner. See, when you have curly hair, it's very easy for our hair to get frizzy, especially when it's hot and humid outside because our hair is looking for that humidity. So to avoid that, you need to make sure you're conditioning your hair at least every other day. You're using a quality shampoo. And if you can, at least once a week, add a few drops of oil. It could be Moroccan or jojoba oil. This oil is good for our curly hair because it helps, again, with that texture and sealing in that hydration to avoid frizziness. Now, when it comes to the right shampoo and conditioner, well, I'm, I'm going to have you covered. Not just yet, but I'm going to have you covered. See, with heat grooming, I am working on the new shampoo and conditioner that's dropping on Q3. What you see here, these are the top 30. I think it's like the top 30 rated shampoos and conditioners. See, I've used a lot of them and they all have some pros and some cons. But what I like to do when I design a new product is create the best of the best. And to do that, I use the best products in the market and get the best ingredients and the best solutions out of them and then combine them all in one. That's exactly what we did with our heat body wash that dropped about a month ago and our heat deodorant. Yo, have you seen the reviews? Yo, all these people aren't lying. This body wash is the best in the market because they use the same method. I bought, I think it was like the best 20 or 30 body washes, used them for a week each, found the best ingredients and the best kind of like effects of each, added them all into one and created what I believe is the best body wash you can find in the market. Well, we're doing the exact same thing for our shampoo and conditioner, and that's going to be dropping end of this year. Now, I want you to just test how good our products are. So I want you to start easy. Start with our body wash. Start with our deodorant. See how good those products are, and I promise you, we're going to do even better. It's only going to get better because off of your feedback, we start molding our products to make sure that what you're getting is top tier grooming products that makes you smell and look sexy. My guy, if you guys want to check out a good body wash and a good deodorant, click that link down below. Now that you got the basics in, let's go to the styling. All right, so now that I have my haircut, which is again, the crucial step to getting the curly hairstyle that you want, because I have naturally wavy curly hair, I don't have to use heat, which is amazing and a time saver. All you need to do is have a good hydrating curl cream. So I'm going to post my two favorites that you see here. This is one of them. The one that I use that I have at home, actually, I think I like a little bit better, but both work really well. You just want to apply a little bit. You don't have to do a lot. So think about like a dime size amount and then you just rub it in and then you just start curling your hair as you see. So when I'm curling my hair, I'm doing this like scrunch technique where I go in and I twist, I go in and I twist. So basically what this does is it's just adding more texture and allowing the hair to start to curl, especially now that it's wet. It kind of, it's, it's a little bit harder for it to curl. But the good thing is that once you twist it into place, the cream itself is basically just going to hydrate your hair so it doesn't frizz out throughout the day. And since you've already set the curls in place throughout the day, the natural air, the curls are just going to start gaining volume and thickness. So that's when you get that really nice curly hairstyle that you want within about one to two hours. But the great thing about this is that, yo, I can do this in about 30 seconds and I'm out the door. And that's basically it for my hairstyle routine, boys. I know a lot of you have been asking for it. I haven't done a video because it's just so easy. Honestly, it's like so quick, but I know some of you guys might have curly or coarse hair like I do. And honestly, 
just saving yourself time and letting your hair take its natural course is probably the best thing that you can do. It's a time saver. Your hair looks unique. It's different. It has texture. And you don't look like everybody else. That's it for me today, boys. See you next time.